foregoing our ratings today. Uh, instead, I'm here for a special Pro Wrestling Illustrated press conference along with Craig Peters and the NWA ladies champion, Misty Blue Sims. Last week, you stormed in on the set. I was doing a, uh, a discussion about wrestling broadcasters. What, you're kind of rude. Why did you just come in like that? Well, Bill, I am so tired of, you know, people not putting wrestling on, you know, women's wrestling on TV. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't understand why we wrestle just as hard. And, in fact, I think I'm, I'm better than some of the guy wrestlers. Uh, a lot of guy wrestlers have said to me that women have no place in wrestling. They should be washing dishes, feeding babies. What do you say? Well, if I wanted to wash dishes, I'd get a job in a restaurant. If I want to have babies, I'll have them in my own good time. Mm -hmm. But I'm here to wrestle right now. Okay, Craig Peters has some questions for you. Craig? Yeah, uh, back in about 1985, I guess it would be the first WrestleMania, uh, I think women's wrestling really reached its peak of popularity. Wendy Richter uh, as WWF Women's Champion and the involvement of a lot of celebrities. And uh, the, I, I'm wondering, what makes you think, I know you've expressed to me in the past and uh, in other interviews, that you feel you can bring women's wrestling back to this level of popularity again. Why do you think you can do that? Well, in order for people to know that there are women wrestlers other than the magazines, is the television exposure to see the kind of job that we can do. And Wendy, she hasn't been on top now for quite a while. In fact, the song that she comes to the ring to, they're selling it at KTEL. Mm -hmm. Now, another, another criticism that's come upon you is Fabulous Moolah, the WWF Women's Champion. Why haven't you ever wrestled her? Well, for one, I wouldn't want to wrestle Moolah. I wouldn't want to be, you know, go down in history as a woman that killed Moolah in the uh -huh. ring from her dying from a heart attack. Uh -huh. So, you know, and I, I can't think of anybody else. And she picks and chooses her opponents. And they're just as old as she is. Okay, great. Um, just saying, you're, you're U.S. and IWF Women's Champion. Uh, you hold two belts. And, and yet a lot of fans haven't, haven't heard of you. They don't know who you are. Um, why do you think that is? Do you, do you think fans are by nature, uh, they, they don't like women's wrestling? Oh, they like women's wrestling. It's just, you know, I've wrestled all over the United States. And, you know, other than the magazine coverage, they need television to know that we are here. And until then, you know, I'm just going to be in the background. Do you feel, in some, I'm curious, do, do you feel insulted that uh, women's wrestling matches generally are not main event matches. Perhaps the WrestleMania match came the closest between Wendy Richter and Fabulous Moolah. But for the most part, women's matches are not considered main event matches. Yeah, you, women wrestling is almost like first or second opening match. Well, wrestling in general is a ma man sport, and I respect that. But I think I could do a main event match okay. if I had to. We have a suggestion. If you people would like to see more women's wrestling, more coverage of women's wrestling, drop a line to Pro Wrestling Illustrated Magazine, Box 48, Rockville Center, New York, 11571. We'll forward it to all the commissioners and promoters. And, Misty, maybe uh, your dream to get women's wrestling elevated to the uh, height of men's wrestling will come about. Oh, I hope so. And I know the fans are behind me. A special yeah. Pro Wrestling Illustrated press conference with Craig Peters, myself, Bill Apter, and Misty Blue. And uh, good luck.